Well, biosecurity happens at every level of the pork industry and at every show. And you've probably heard in the news about attempts to smuggle meat products into the U.S. In 2019, the Fed stopped 1 million pounds of pork from entering the U.S. illegally from China at a port. But how are some of those products detected and ultimately stopped? This weekend, Farm Journal National videographer Russ Natusco introduces us to the Beagle Brigade. My name is Martin Schultz. I'm a Customs and Border Protection Agriculture Specialist. This is Agriculture Detection Dog Soul. Ready to do some work? The USDA is the organization that will source the dogs and do the initial training. Our mission is to safeguard American agriculture, and we do so by identifying the various uh, fruits and vegetables and meats that people are bringing into the country. So find it. We employ dogs that can track scent and have them walk around, and then that helps us to identify more of the potential pathways that the pathogens and pests could enter the country via the passenger baggage environment. Yeah, that one? Hi, sweetie. Nope. The beagles work here in the passenger environment because they appear a little bit less threatening than some of the other large breeds. They also have amazing ability to differentiate the various scents that we're looking for. They're also highly food driven, so he'll do anything for a treat. Oh, that's good boy. The items that we saw on the table, that's only about a third of what they intercepted last night, the agriculture team here at Chicago. The United States port export industry right now is number one or number two in the world. For last year, it was $7.7 .7 billion worth of income generated for the country. And if him and I let in some pork that has some swine fever in it, right, that could devastate pork products here, right, and that's a lot of money lost. So just by giving him one little treat, Right? We may help to protect and safeguard the agriculture. So it does have a sticker, but it doesn't say where it was produced. So these ones won't be allowed into the country either. We tell them you know, why we prohibit the entry. Sometimes that's enough. Sometimes they're still very frustrated about it. But the nature of it is, is that we can't identify that the items have met the import standards uh, set by the USDA to bring the items into the country. And if they fail to declare any of the items at that point, then we have the uh, justification to issue a penalty for failure to declare if we so choose. But, oop, whoop, hold on. Excuse me, ma'am, one moment. Where's the buddy? Oh yeah, good boy. Yeah, it looks like ham. All right, yeah, we'll take that one too. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Oh, it's my sandwich. Good job, buddy. Sit. Yeah, you found it. Good boy. I don't believe that this is the great sandwich smuggling heist of 2023, right? It shocks me every day just how good he is able to track a scent throughout the hall. He gets paid lots and lots of treats. Yep. That's a good boy, Soul. You're doing so good, buddy. Thanks again to Ross and Tesco for such a unique and behind the scenes look. Well, when we come back, John Phipps has customer support. Please stay with us. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online.